we're going to build another barn, another garage like this one over here. Over here. I put the columns in last weekend. Put footings in. I put sauna tubes up. Um, put them at the proper height. Now we're going to set the beams. The beams I painted. I already drilled holes in them where the floor beams are going to be bolted down to. And um, so we got the grading off right now. Jimmy on the backhoe. And we're grading it off. And we're going to set the beams. Well, ready to go. Here we go. up that are going to go between the two eye beams now we're going to go pick them up we'll put them over here we'll start bolting them in that will give us our our width between the two eye beams once you get them bolted in there we'll uh get the laser set up and we'll get these beams flat okay good good for now let's carry them over here This, we don't have to keep taking this and holding this string by hand. Yep, I got them. Um, all right. Once we get the spreaders in, you know. Yes. Or nail something. Let's get something figured out. A block of wood. 
so that we can put this here and leave it. Yeah. You know, and we yeah. don't have to keep trying to hold it. Because we definitely need this for a pin. What's that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, they have to be. Yeah. Yeah, we got to start. This has got to be as straight as we can with that. Yeah, where right. are the spreaders? Over there. Over there. Okay. So these are the spreaders that I made. They're made out of two inch pipe, some angle iron, and that's the width I want to keep the I-beams at. I'm, I'm trying to make it identical to the garage that I built over here. All right, Gimme's coming with the other one now. All right, give me a minute. start lining holes up and getting some bolts in there too long or too short yet so all right Just pick yours up pick my hand up how's your hole they line up and I just gotta put them on uh... All right, well, I got the nut on, so we're not going to tighten it, right? Just gonna... No, just get it on a little, the nut on a little bit. It can't fall out. Nope. All right, you got your nut? Yep, in my hand. Come on this side now. The reason why I'm putting these garages on steel beams is because the day might come where I want to move them. So I made the beams like a sled. So if I have to move them one day and pull them out of the way, maybe we're going to put a real garage up here one day. But that's why I made them like this. A little bit more work. But this is what I wanted. So all this work was done in my garage, in my these are uh, five by five, three eighths thick angle iron, which I made sleds out of. So we can wrap a chain around them in case we want to move it back. All right, let's take your pin. About there, right there. Yeah, you in? I'm in, I got one. Okay. gives us perfect distance. All right, let's get the other two back over here. I can see There you go, front and back. How's, how's there? Thank you. 
find it. I guess I got it the right way. See, that we got lucky on this side, right? Yeah. I don't remember marking it. Put a piece of PVC pipe over it. If you want to put a ladder underneath there or something long, it, it would roll. Yeah, it but, would roll on that. But, it's, but you'd have to lower. It would have been lower, right? Lower. Right now, that really ain't gonna it, do you no good. Right. If it was upside down. Right. And you could push a ladder in there, or roll roll a ladder in, or some some yeah. some storage. Yeah, well, that was good. I, I, I can still do something like that. All right, let me get good some more uh, bolts. Lots of them. 26 foot, 6 and 5 eighths. You ain't kidding. One beam might even be long. Let's see if one of the same length. All right, this is uh, 24 foot, 5 and 3 quarters. Twenty foot, twenty-four foot six and an eighth. So there's a little. This one's longer than that one. Okay. So now we, the next thing we got to do is get front and square. Right. Now we just got to get it front and back and and then level it, right? Yeah. Okay. Did I get it in the right spot? Well, it could go that way. It it's not which, hitting. Which way? That way. It's okay. about a quarter of an inch away over here. You want another screw? How about that? More. Got to go back. To the back. Oh, wait a minute. You know what happened? We're hitting the ramp. That's what it was. It was giving me a bad number, Jimmy. All right. I think you got to raise it up. Right now we're hitting the... It was giving me... Touching? Yeah, touching now. Well, I, I gotta read this. I, uh, okay. All right, so what we're doing here is I want to get the two garages lined up together because I want to put a shed roof between them so I can put some hay equipment. So I can put some hay equipment in between the two garages. That looks pretty good there, Jim. Over there on the building is good. It, it, it looks good enough to me. Okay. Okay, now we got to move everything this way. Do you think we should move everything this way a couple inches? We're on this side of the thigh tubes, on this one and on that one too. Well, but this. Going by the string, that's what it says it has to do. You said you wanted to be about an inch and an inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth. Yeah. Behind that there. Oh, don't you think that's right? Yeah. Okay. That that should be a piece of one inch right there, right? No, wait a minute. Yeah. Back here has to be. This is the front of the building. Oh, so you're gonna let everything? Okay. So you so you want to be like that? Yeah. Because. We wanted to be able to put the ramps right on the front of the thing. Yep. So that, yeah, this is the front of the building. Okay. Um, yes, that's the front of the building. Now, wait a minute. That's the front of the two by six. And then we're gonna, and then you got the five eighths plywood. So yeah, so oh, that has like to that. be like that. Right. Right. Okay. So we got a muscle listing. Push on it with the back on the end. Put a block of wood there. I'll Look slide at that it dog over there. So we're very good in the middle of this column. Right yes. You know, that's on a tube. But forget. Don't worry about that yet. We need to get a measurement and make sure we're. Well, let me get my marker in my pocket. Whoa, 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 girl. So my idea was. I'm going to build another garage here then i'm going to put some rafters up there and a metal roof in between these two garages 
and then put a load of gravel in here. And then from the back, I could get maybe my mower conditioner in there, maybe my tether to keep them out of the weather. All right, so now we're gonna give it a measurement. I want it a little less than 12 feet. Jimmy, go to the side of the building, right there. All right, we got 13 feet, one inches, which is okay because we have one foot overhang. Okay. I can, right, so what, this is not bad here. 13 foot one is okay. good enough. So, all right, so from there to there. 13 one. Okay, put, put a mark on, on the footing. Here's the mark. Thank you. All right, at 13 one. Okay. We're at 13.2. All right, so down on top of the concrete, put a mark at 13.1. Okay. So this has got to get two, almost two inches, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, which would make sense. Oh, too much. Right. Right about there. That one didn't move. It did a little bit, but not not tremendous amount. Hold that there. Okay. Okay, good enough. All right, so the next thing we'll do is get the laser up because we got it. Yep. How's it sitting on? On that, on that one enough should be. Oh, you think it maybe if it's not sitting in the middle, yeah. oh, it's, it's good enough. That's yeah. about what I thought it was going to yeah. say. Look here, you got this. Yeah, it's fine. That's why I used the 12 inches on this side. Yeah. Because I, I think I had a little bit of adjustment. I got you. It's perfect. Okay. All right, let's set your laser up. And then uh, it looks okay to you. Good to me. Mm -hmm. Except. Uh, before we do that, we gotta we gotta make sure this is lined up in the front, right? Oh, front and back. You're right. We might have to. We gotta push it forward to you. You want me to get the back home and push? You want to do it? Or you want me to do it? Just give me an idea how much we got to move it, that's all. I think it's going to move very easily. I mean, probably we can push it. All right, it looks like about three inches. Got to come to me. This one's right on the, it's actually, they're both a little, it's a little forward now, but. It, it, it's close enough, didn't it? Okay. The frost could make a move that much. Yeah. I mean, I don't think All right, I'll get the laser set up. Okay. We're getting there. Where's the 
here's the high spot. You gotta start from the high, right? Yeah, and so far, well, I haven't finished yet. Okay. Okay, so the laser is set up. And now we're looking for the post that's the highest. Yeah. Okay, so that's the, we're gonna work off there. So do we wanna take this plastic off? No, I think it's better to leave it the clean there. concrete. Okay, let's go to the next one then. So these are tapered shingles. It's gotta come up. Okay. Out a quarter. All right. So Three sixteenths. Here. Put one one way, one the other, right? We could. Let me just see here. Which way do you got it? Yes. Okay. Up a little bit more. Okay. Well, in fact, maybe, maybe a piece. Um, Now that you're that far, a piece of this cement siding might be enough. Okay, got my picture. Okay. I got a piece of roof shingle. You want to put a piece of roof shingle on there? Yeah. Okay. That's usually right on the money. Bump that bar on this thing, laser. Yeah, so take, you got a piece of asphalt shingle, you said? I sure do. I sure do. Okay. Just a single side, I guess, first, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Up. Okay. Too low. Right, it's close. That's it. Right on the yeah, money. Man, we, that's perfect. Yep. All right. Okay. You want to check the diagonal one more time? Yeah. 26, six and a half, right? Right, 26, six and a half. Dad, I'm working this side of the tape measure. Got me? Yeah. Let me put six and a half. Okay. This edge of the tape measure. There it is. 
Not even a sixteenth of an inch out. All right. Okay. All right. Let's put the laser away. Yep. Have lunch. Have lunch. I'm hungry. Me too.